here are all the parts for my Van de Graaff generator that I'm going to build. It's a small one. I'm using parts that you find around the house. That way anybody can build it. Um, let me go through all the parts. First of all, this is the uh, support tube for the whole thing. So the, be the belt is going to be going through this right here. This is the motor that I found. It's just a small 1.5 volt uh, motor which I got from Radio Shack. And the shaft here, it's always hard to find something to fit on a shaft on a motor. And I've got this um, plastic tube here, which I got from a hobby shop. But I went through all my mechanical pencils and pens and everything. I couldn't find anything. But this fits very well on there. And just to show you that it actually works, I've got a 1.5 volt battery here. It's pretty weak right now, only about 1.3 volts, but it turns the motor. There we go. And um, so that's going to be mounted inside my clear plastic tube here. Uh, you can use any kind of tube or anything you want, even wood supports or something. Is it? The whole idea is just to have something that they uh, will hold it all together. And uh, so I'll mount it like that. Uh, now I, I'm not. My belt is going to be this rubber band right here, um, but I'm not going to have it go on this because this is so small it's probably going to slip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some vinyl electrical tape. Vinyl is at one end of the triple electric series, so it's perfect. And I'll just wind the vinyl electric tape around the plastic tube and make a nice little pulley light with that. Now for the other end up here, something else you find around the house, clothes hanger wire. <laughs> Um, so I'll just cut a piece of this and I'll put that, mount that at the top here and that'll be a shaft and um, for the bushing for the shaft uh, here's a mechanical pencil I just happen to put rubber bands around it <laughs> but um, I've got this piece right here and I'm just going to use that as the bushing and it'll go around this shaft right here so it, it spins fairly very freely. I'll put some oil as well. Uh, now uh, for the actual pulley surface though since I've got vinyl, which is at one end of the triple electric series, I'm going to use nylon, which is at the other end of the triple electric series. So what I'll do is I'll wind some nylon thread around this and form a pulley using the nylon thread, which is perfect. Um, now for the ball at the top, I'm going to use this Coke can right here. I just got this this morning from a neighbor's recycling bin. <laughs> and uh, for the brushes, I've just got some wire here. It's fairly thin stranded wire, so I can use the individual strands here, and that's what'll face the uh, the rubber band or the uh, the belt in order to pull off the charge and to put on the charge. So those are all the parts, and now let's uh, assemble it all and see if it works. The first step is to mark where I'm going to drill a hole. Now keep in mind that if I've got the motor going in right here on this end of the tube, um, the other shaft is going to be going in a parallel to it, up but up here. So I've got to make sure, i got some little holes in this plastic, so I've got to make sure I put it in the right place. Uh, so those holes are up here, then the motor can go right there. Now what I'll do is I'll first just mark where I want the motor to go. Right about, doesn't really matter, I'll put it close to one end, right there. And then what I do, because I want the uh, top one here to be matching up with the bottom one hole. So I just take this piece of wood, so if that one is right there, and the other one is going to be right around here somewhere, I'll just make a line. There we go. So now those are perfectly aligned. The pilot hole doesn't have to go all the way through, it's just to mark it. So when I start with the bigger drill bit, it uh, won't slide all over the place. I have to be very careful here so I don't crack the uh, plastic. As I said, that, that now fits in there nicely. That little notch will goes in the hole perfectly. Uh, but, you know, there's still some wobble here. So what I want to do is take a file. I just want to flatten this edge right here. That way there won't be that wobble. Okay, so it's fairly flattened now. Let's try it out with some rubber bands. There we go, very secure.
Okay, so the next step is to cut the piece of plastic tubing that's going to go on the motor shaft. In fact, my tube it just happens to have a hole on the other side. This is an old piece of scrap. So I'm just going to put the tube, the shaft tube, on the motor shaft. Push that through the hole. Oh, it's okay. And I already made an old summer email. Okay. Okay. Okay, next step is to cut some vinyl tape for wrapping around the plastic. Now I'm going to want the pulley to have a round profile with respect to the belt. Uh, that tends to hold the belt on better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first cut a thin layer and then put a thicker layer on top of that. Okay, that's a lot better, nice and centered, and room over here to put the elastic in, the rubber band. And that works quite well. You can just slip it right in there. Use a pair of needle nose pliers, give it a little extra push. Come in from the other side and give it a little pull. A little twist of it anyway, that, you get the idea, that's, that's good. But I'm not ready for that yet. Okay, so I drill my second hole. Put it through and... Perfect! Okay, so next trick is to bend this around um, and then I'll put an elastic band on it and that'll hold it all in place. So I'll just uh, make a mark where I want to put my bend. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'll just cut that right there. Same pliers for that'll do. Oh, pretty good. That shaft ain't going nowhere. Okay, so I put the nylon thread. I just tied a loop around a fresh piece of my bushing material here. Got some crazy glue, and I'm just going to put it around that loop there just to so my crazy glue is leaking from this end. Okay, that seems to have held quite nicely, so now I'll just start winding it here. I made a lumpy in the middle there, rounded, because that's what holds the rubber band on. So I need something rounded like that, so I'll just put some more glue at the edge here, since it seems to work quite well. And there we go. Now my battery is dead, so I hooked it up to my um, DC power supply instead. So let's give it a run. Okay, so the idea is I'm going to have this wire go inside the Coke can and be attached there with the screw. So I just got to wind this around the screw and then stick it in the Coke can. And here's how I'm attaching the uh, <laughs> the can. Uh, so you get the wire that's coming out of the inside of the can. Very important that it's on the inside. Otherwise, a Faraday bucket effect wouldn't work. And then the wire is just bent here, and uh, um, then the strands are pulled out a bit and put near the near but not touching the belt. Um, but to attach it all together, here we go. How's this for home parts from home? <laughs> Take a little plastic knife here, rubber bands, rubber band, rubber band. So here's the completed Van de Graaff generator. I just taped it to this jar right here so it'll stay in place. One addition I made was this uh, ground wire right here. It's actually connected to household ground. And I've simply trimmed the end of it here and put it 
close to the belt on this side. Another thing I did was to put some epoxy on all the sharp edges I could find on the Coke can. Ideally this would be a round ball, round aluminum ball, but this is supposed to be made out of household parts, right? So now I'll just dim the lights and uh, give it a try. If you're having difficulty seeing arcs or detecting arcs from your Van de Graaff generator, then here's a simple idea. Use an electroscope. Electroscope is a very easy to make device um, that detects electric fields or high voltages. All you do is you put the terminal of it close to the Van de Graaff generator's, well in this case, Coke can, and the um, leaves in here, these two pieces of aluminum foil, will separate. Let me just charge up the Van de Graaff generator here. Now I'll turn it off so you can hear me. Now I'll move the terminal. Now watch what happens down here. It's already happening. As I move the terminal close to the Coke can, the foils down here separate. If I go too close, ah, it arced. <laughs> there we go. So very easy to use. Um, I have a video on my YouTube channel called How to Make an Electroscope that shows how to make one of these. Well, thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe if you like these videos. And don't forget to check out the other Van de Graaff, Electroscope, and other related videos on my YouTube channel, RimStar.org. Bye for now.